Well, how do the chums as I, Captain Steve? And yes, you can see we're only 32 minutes into this expedition. We've already completed phase one with my awesome fandangly tips. Yes, you've probably got your own awesome fandangly tips. If you have, add them to the comments so other people can see them. Heck yeah, share and share alike. Right, anyway, this is phase two. And onwards and upwards with more tips. Heck yes. Right, so where we left off last time was on a frost world, wasn't it? On an icy sort of landscape at this lovely great big portal, and this was Rendezvous 1 in Phase 1. Now, I do remember in Phase 3, there is actually tasks to land on different biome types, and one of them being a frosty world, and I think there is just a single task to be had and be done upon a frosty world, so we might do that before we set on off. So here it is, Icy Veins. Yeah, so I need to discuss discover a creature on a frozen world and it's just one creature I need to scan but you know what I might go to town and scan a couple while I'm here and get a few sort of extra brownie points well a few extra units to be fair but there we go I scanned it but the odd thing is the badge didn't pop up did you see that no badge so yeah I'm gonna scan a couple more just to make sure that I've actually got that badge in my pocket oh actually it has just popped up in the bottom right corner I just saw it just for a brief second pop up there there we go there it is again in the bottom right corner and then it swaps to that one right so you see there where it swaps to the other one it says about 13 creatures I got a little bit confused decated and I thought mm, 13 creatures I think there's only 13 creatures upon this world but anyway I'm gonna scan a few more and then I'll reconvene with you up into space Right, so I'm just flying over the planet rather than going up into space, and I'm just scanning for little settlements or buildings, just using my scan and pulsing out. And if I see one that's got one of those little save beacons on, I'm landing by it. The reason being is when you hit up that save beacon, it pops you a navigational data. Also, there is a badge for flying your ship for a certain amount of ewage anywhere, anywhere in space really, or on the planet, or inside of the planet's atmosphere, like I'm doing right now, that actually pops and gives you 10 additional navigational data. And while I'm here, I might as well plunder these little red boxes. Yes, get in there, plunder. Lovely jubbly, lovely plunder, lovely free items. Everyone loves a freebie. Yes, freebie, yes. Awesome. Right, I'm just scanning another creature. Why? Because, yeah, right, scanned. And, um, yeah, where's another one? There's another one there. I've nearly scanned all creatures on this planet, but I didn't need to. Righto, awesome. You only need to scan one, and then the badge pops. But for whatever reason, if you go into your scanner to start scanning another creature like I did, it doesn't pop with the badge to let you know you completed the mission. Right, so awesome. I'm going to fly up into space now, and hopefully we're going to pop that badge shortly, because we've done quite a fair bit of flying, and we've mapped actually a couple of these little points. This was probably the second or third one. No, it was the third one I landed at. So let's just go up into space, and let's see if we've got the badges, because hopefully we're going to get that ewage very, very shortly. I guess we will. So here we go. And uh, yeah, you can see that Icy Veins is there to be had. I'm going to lock in Rendezvous 2. I'm going to make our way over there in a moment but yeah you can see here a lot of these are going to need maps cartography maps because they're all sort of distress type items that we've got to hit up so we're going to have to go and see a cartographer in a bit but if i pop that there we go lovely job we've got ourselves a few new modules and bits and bobs to be had and to be installed inside of our text let's fly on into the station and i'm going to run around upstairs on the station as well and pick up as much navigational data as i can i'm going to move around all that tech that i just got awarded sell a few things in the galactic trade terminal as well so yes i'm looking for the orange cubes blue cubes and little flat pack little puck type things that look like hockey pucks yes and out of those sometimes you get nanites but you also get navigational data like i got just there and then i can go over to the cartographer this guy over here in the far corner near to where the teleporter is okay i don't know what's going on with my light behind me and that was all flashing you see that a little joypad anyway when you speak to the cartographer you need to oh there it goes again do it again. I just moved and it stops. How weird's that? And I'm buying those ones, the distress ones. Here we go. Let's grab a load of them. So at the moment, I can only get five. But if I fly my ship a little bit more, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to unlock that other badge that gives me an additional ten. Mm, goody, goody gun drops. Goody, goody gun drops. Yes, but at least I've got five to get myself started. So I can hit up a few more distress beacons because I've actually got a few nav datas from the tables and also from down on the planet. Awesome. So let's just pop one or two of those and we'll see what we get. Right. So 
what I want is not the abandoned building. I don't want the abandoned building, no, but it has got one of those safe beacons, so I can hit it up and get another nav data. It's not a bad thing, but it's not what I want, but I can still go there and get something. Right, crashed freighter, that's a badge. Ha ha, we will go there now, and we shall get said badge. Lovely job. Awesome, crashed freighter, here I come. Awesome, where are you, crashed freighter icon? It takes a little while to appear. I see you at the crashed freighter. Yes, I will. So here I go, I'm landing down by the crashed freighter, and I need to go and hit up that big round type looking washing machine looking thing. That's a bit weird how my light keeps doing the. Oh well, we just forget that it does that. No, I'm position my head properly. There we are. Right, awesome. Well, it hasn't popped yet, as you can see, but I've got it locked in. That's the one that I got selected. Awesome, so now I just have to interact with the washing machine. Oh, we're gonna get some law. I love law. I really like the law of no man's sky. I've got a law playlist. It's freaking, well, I think it's awesome because I love the law and like doing my little synopsis of law. So if you haven't been playing long, be sure to hit up my law playlist. I'll put it in the top right corner. Anyway, let's read the law. Life goes on day after day, delivering after. Kzzzt. I hope to go home soon. The life of kzzzt is not one for the likes of me. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected. Ah, run for your lives. Yes. Dropping out of warp. They're there. The sentinels. Cause what are they doing? I don't know. What are they? You tell me. I'm not there. Okay. Fighting each other. What? The sentinel ships are engaging each other. Ignoring us for now? What the fudge? Well, we do get corrupted sentinels on the planet. Maybe there's some corrupted ones in space. Who knows? The sentinels appear to have to putted. There, because probably corrupted. Distress signals nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. They're going to take a look. Oh, no, don't do that. You're probably going to get... Compl oh, that's probably why the whole thing's buggered, isn't it, really? But there we are! Done! Awesome! But that's quite a nice little snippet of lore there, with the whole corrupted Sentinels happening. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, the Sentinels were created to actually protect the Atlas and things like that, but then they went a bit squiffy and started wiping out the races, which the Atlas obviously didn't want. So, yeah, interesting, interesting stuffage. Righto. Okay, well, let's head on down here. Maybe the 1616 had something to do with the Corrupted Sentinels. Who knows? The Aviator. Brilliant. We've now popped that badge for flying 100,000 years. That's the amount of years that we needed to fly. There we go. Boom. We're going to get ourselves 10 navigational datas. That's the important bit in that badge. The 10 navigational datas. I don't know why I'm doing that with my fingers, but it looks good, doesn't it? It does. Well, I thought it did. Right, awesome. No, stop doing that, Steve. It didn't look good. Right, awesome. Right, Fallen Giant badge also popped, and we've got ourselves a shed load of new modules. Yeah, I am conscious that these... Um, storage augmentation slots for this ship. I am installing them just because I need it for the amount of resources I'm picking up. But technically, I hate this ship. The turning circle is like a slug stuck in sludge. It's really not good. No, it's not. Or it's like a snail that's actually got a shell made out of lead. Yes, it's, it's not great. But here you go. I'm hitting up that beacon at the abandoned building and get another nav data. So now I should have, like, what, another dozen? Lovely, with that ten plus a couple. Heck yes, my maps is getting better every day. Yeah, we can fly back up to the station and get a load more cartography maps. But before I do that, like I say, I've got loads of storage in this ship, I can shoot the heck out of the planet and get some more resources. Lovely job, there. So I tend to do that before I take off on every planet. Just shoot the planet for a little while. I didn't do it that long on that one, to be honest. Because I've got a shed load of resources anyway. And, um, yeah, to be fair, I haven't really needed the base resources all that much apart from to craft the odd metal plating and things. So, yeah, it hasn't really helped all that much, but it is a fine and dandy little tip for any new players out there. It really is. It saves a massive grind. Especially if you're hoping to put down roots and put down a base. Yeah, right, anyway, I've called in my freighter, and I'm flying into my freighter. And what we're going to do is all those badges that we popped, all the technologies that we've got, I'm going to install them, I'm going to move them around, I'm going to put them in the technology slots, I'm going to get the adjacency bonuses in my ship, my multi-tool, my exosuit. A little bit of housekeeping, tend to do that every now and again, especially when you're just about to get out of your ship, because it creates a save. So do it all before you get out of your ship, creates a save, done. You don't have to worry if you die. Awesome, right, now I'm using my freighter to now jump to rendezvous two. So here we go, it's just over there, boom, there it is, and we're off. We're off on a little jolly to rendezvous two. And as you can see there, now I've got all my warp and the adjacency bonuses, I can jump a lot further. <laughs> boom, awesome. And uh, let's head on down here, lovely job. And uh, yeah, let's go into our ship, let's fly on out to rendezvous two. Lovely and jubbly, awesome.
So although that we have now jumped to the system where Rendezvous 2 is, I want to go over to the station but before I actually put boots on the ground of the planet and I want to get those cartography maps. So I'm just going to go to the station and go and spend all that nav data and I'm going to spend all 10 on the rest of the cartography maps for that, um, you know, the, 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 the yeah, that, that, none, um, I've completely forgot my words. No, the distress beacon ones, that's the one that I want. Yes, so here we go, exchange for this one here. That one there, and it's like the emergency charts. I want to get a shed load of them. I had a complete brain meltdown then, people, if you didn't notice. That was all blah, 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 going on. Yes, anyway, I'm going to run around the station as well and hit up some more of these hucky pucks and also the little blue and orange cubes and get even more nav data. Uh, although I've spent that 10 on these ones, I'm just going to pocket these, these nav data that I get from here on in. And I'm also upgrading my exosuit as I go and installing tech and housekeeping and all that lot. But I'm going to keep these other nav datas for a rainy day. We'll see if we need them hopefully we won't because i've got a few tips on finding the ones that we don't find so right so hopefully we're going to find ourselves a distress beacon but you know what i've popped a few in this system and it's given us a few void entries that we don't need to go see so i'm probably going to maybe do it as we move on but there's other planetary types that we can land here so one of the planets is also a star bulb now i couldn't help but notice that the actual planet we're going to rendezvous 2 is a lush planet so it is a star bulb world so lovely job we're gonna pop two badges in one here when we land people we're gonna get rendezvous two plus we're also going to get the star bulb one and on the star bulb badge you don't have to scan the fauna it just says land on a star bulb planet well rendezvous two is a star bulb planet so awesome that one's super duper freaking easy and it's a phase three badge i know we're on phase two but you know if it does a double whammy Wham! Thank you, man! Yes, I'm having that one in my back pocket. Lovely jubbly. And as you saw there, I flew down towards the marker and then I saw that there was a comms ball. I look over and yes, it's a portal. So yeah, I, a lot of these seem to be portals in Rendezvous 2. Whereas in Rendezvous 1, I mean, Expedition 2, sorry. Yeah, in Expedition 1, they weren't portals, were they? They were all sorts of weirdness. Righto, awesome, we are there. Yes, well done. See you on the next one. We will, Mr. Comsball. Right, there we go. Rendezvous 2, boom, done, done, done. Two little badges for Captain Steve. Two little birdies with one stone. Heck yes, cool, awesome. And again, we're getting a load of inventory slots. When we got an expansion storage augmentation for my ship, I will install it in this ship, but I do want to get rid of this ship. I heck yes, I do. But yeah, you have to do that from the station. I might do it in this ship, or I might hold on to that and put it into another ship if we find another ship. But right now I have no units. But I believe if you pop the run date, if you do all of run, uh, phase two and uh, finish the last badge, I think you get gifted a fighter, if memory serves me correctly. Right now, so let's install all of this tech. Now, I could do with expanding my technology slot and getting a lot of this tech into there. So I've got a lot more free storage out here. So yeah, maybe that's the thing I need to do is move on to the technology tab and upgrade that a bit. Or do that in the stations. Every station I land in, maybe upgrade my technology area now. Anyhow, I hope you're liking this video. And as it says on the screen there, please hit a like. That would be very much appreciated. So I just popped another one of those distress maps. And I want to see whether that's actually picked me up anything of autumn interest. Which, um, yeah, I believe it has. So we're going to head on over because it's an observatory. Now, observatories, you solve a little puzzle. And sometimes it might send you to a relic site, though. Mm, not what we're after. No, it's not. But sometimes it might send us to a crashed ship or a person in distress, which is pretty rare. But anyhow, we're going to fly on over here. But I've got a little sneaky tip. If that happens to be the last one that I have left, yes, for finding an actual stranded uh, civilian and whatever, a stranded life form, which we'll get to a bit later. So hold on on for that if that's the one that you're struggling with, because I've got a sneaky little chip for that one. Right now, so I'm going to hit up this beacon. One, it's going to give me nav data. And two, if I completely stuff up on the puzzle in there, I can just reload my auto save. Well, not auto save, manual save, because that's a manual save beacon. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, one, and then you can go back in and just redo the test if you do fail it. Hopefully, you're not going to fail it, right? Because they are quite simple. They're usually number patterns, and if you're quite good at spotting patterns, you're going to be quite good at doing these. So here we go. Let's hit on up this and let's have a quick look. See, so you see here, it's going to come up with a sequence of numbers. 
So one two one two two one two one one two one two. So it's going to be two one two one, isn't it? Basically, it's, it, it looks like they're, they're moving to the left all the time, like a little chain, just shuffling along. Boom, done. Ha! Captain Steve, awesome. What's it going to give us? Ah, oh, it's given us a freaking ruins. It's given us a location to a ruins, people, which kind of ruins your day. <laughs> See what I did there! Yes, awesome. Right, let's get out of this building, shall we? Let's head on out. Right, um, yeah, we're going to pop another map first, though. Yes, let's pop another map. Let's see if second time's a good one. Let's see if we can get something good. What's it going to give? Come on, give me something awesome. You know you want to. Go on, be another crash ship or something. That'd be great. What's that? It's an abandoned building, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, that didn't go too swimmingly, did it? Let's pop another. Boom! Here we are. Third time lucky. Three is the magic number. Heck, yes it is. <laughs> Freighter crash site? No. No. Jolly well no. Um, we've already been to the freighter, so that's a complete waste of time, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to pop one more and see what we get. If we don't get anything of all, I'm probably going to have to jump a system or two or something. And we'll do it in the next system. I'm not going to go visit all of those. And um, I've got a lot of nav data now. So it doesn't really matter about hitting up all these places. But that has given me a distress. Yes, let's go. Oh, fudge. Wrong freaking door. All right. Okay. No, story of my life. Let's go out of this door. Ha, right door. Fantastic. There was a choice of two. Right. Yeah, so there's a 50% chance of me getting it wrong, which I did get it wrong. I guess. Well, I don't know whether I should be celebrating that. No. Right. Well, let's take on up and let's fly on over to this distressed beacon and we'll see how well distressed it is, shall we, chumps? Oh, it's not far, is it? It's only over this freaking hill. I could have blank him walked it, maybe. There it is. It's just there. Oh, it's a crash ship. Has it got a stranded individual on it? Yes, we shall have a look, see. Right, oh, let's have a look and see what we've got. Is it a crash ship or is it a stranded person? Either or, it's a badge. I'm going to be popping a badge, people. Hang as I am. Okay, well, that's pretty much on fire, isn't it? That's, that's, yeah, there's no person here. So it looks like it is just a ship. Sweet. Okay, awesome. I can scrap this and get some units. Maybe buy myself something sweet rather than having this freaking snail-like ship that I've got now. Now, okay, brilliant. Now I need to just repair a couple of things. Oh, look at that. That's cool. So it's just the pulse engine that I need to fix. The launch thrusters seem fine. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Righto, hermetic seal crafted. I can put that in there. I just need some ferrite dust, which I've got inside my other ship. So I'm going to run over there, craft the metal plate, and I'll be right back with the metal plate in, and install it, because I've got to jump in on ships and swap over ships and all that sort of shenanigans. Here you go. I'm back, and let's put in the metal plating. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka boom, boom, boom. Done, dilly, done, and I can fly this ship. Brilliant. It is going to be making that annoying noise the whole time, though. Wow, wow, because I haven't fixed the shields. Right, scrapper. Yes, yeah, restore the crash ship. You can say I restored it. Yes, I did, kind of, didn't I? Got it flight worthy, anyhow. Let's head on over to the station. Let's go scrap this thing. As soon as you scrap the ship, it automatically brings your other ship into the station. So that's, what, that's, that's fine and dandy, isn't it? That's pretty good. So we're going to head into the actual station. I'm going to run around. If I haven't already, I think I've already ran around this one already and grabbed all the bits. Yeah, I'll just double check anyway. But there's going to be a lot of to and fro in because I need to scrap this ship. But I also need to clear my inventory out and then, uh, yeah, move a few things and, and do a bit of housekeeping. So you know what? I'm going to play a little bit of music for you Why I do all of that scrapping and stuffage. Oh, Captain! Captain! Game with you. 
Right, well, chums, I promised you that tip, didn't I? Well, my tip is to head on over to the Nexus. Head on into the Nexus, and you're looking for a mission that says Rescue Stranded Life Form. Yes, yes, cunning plan. Yes, now these missions, they rotate out every 10 minutes on the dot, pretty much. And I'm going by the time sent by my actual console, by my PlayStation, not by my watch. That seems to be three minutes out. Right, so now, even though it's synchronized to the internet, I have no idea. It's a smartwatch. Call that smart? I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to fly on out because I didn't get the mission. I was in there for like 10 minutes. It swapped over. Boom. So just over 10 minutes waiting to see what happened. Didn't get it. So I'm just going to press on, but I'm just going to call in the Nexus at regular intervals and see if the mission pops up. Righto. Until then, though, I might as well continue my search. Yes. Distress signal received. Is it going to be a stranded life form? Is it going to be a crashed ship? I wonder what this distress signal is going to be. Right. Let's go and have a look at this distress signal, shall we, chums? Oh, the adventure. Oh, the intrepidation. Let's go and have a quick look-see at what we find at this distress beacon. Right, so here we go. We're going in for a landing on this beautiful, beautiful planet. This game is so beautiful. It really is. I was watching Lost in Space the other day. And uh, you know, I've completely finished season three. But as it ends off, the vista that you see is so No Man's Sky. If you watch Lost in Space, look for it. And you're going to be... That is so freaking No Man's Sky freaking concept artwork. It really is. Yeah, I wish I could put it here. But it'd probably get some sort of copyright thingy or whatever. But anyway, let's head on over. But yeah, if you haven't watched Lost in Space, Space on Netflix and you've got Netflix, hit it up. It's not bad. It's really good. Well, I enjoyed it. Right, here we go. And there's no freaking NPC here. Which means it's a claimable ship. Got another tip for you people. Don't fix it. No, don't fix it. Just claim it. Just claim it. Yeah, okay. And uh, we'll sh I'll show you what happens a bit later on. Just fly away. Just fly away and go about your day-to-day -day business. Don't worry. It's not going to stay there on the planet. It's like if you call in your freighter and go aboard your freighter and do a reload on your freighter, that little crash ship will appear inside your freighter. Still on, in flames. You know, it's a fire hazard, but who cares? Yeah, and it appears in your freighter. Yeah, awesome. Anyhow, let's fly up onto my freighter anyway. I'm not going to do the reload and show you, but it does. Trust me, it does. But anyhow, I'm going to fly. I'm going to go run up here, and we're going to be hitting up Rendezvous 3. I'm jumping over to Rendezvous 3, because now I've popped all those maps. It's getting a bit congested in this system. So I may as well jump to Rendezvous 3. I'm not going to go there. We're going to do that in the next video. So be sure to tune in for the next video if you're following this playlist with these lovely tips. So we reconvene and I've landed in the station at Rendezvous, sort of, uh, three. And I've run round, grabbed the nav data, done all that sort of stuff, expanded my exosuit. And now I'm just going to call in the Nexus. And I'm going to see if it's got the Stranded Lifeform mission before I waste any sort of more of my maps trying to find a distress beacon and just pray and hope that I find a Stranded Lifeform. Because you can see what happens there. You're going to find a load of ships to scrap, which isn't a bad thing. But you're going to end up with all these fiery wrecks inside of your freighter. And look at that. There it is. Rescue Stranded Life Form. Now I'm going to hit up this mission. Don't complete the mission, but we'll get to that. Anyhow, let's fly on out in our ship and let's go and find this stranded individual. And you know what it's going to do? Sometimes it might jump you to another area of space as well, which can be quite nice because it doesn't use your warp fuel, even though it shows you the warp animation. Yes, and at the moment, warp fuel is a bit of a commodity, isn't it? A bit of a scarcity that we need to get to our rendezvous, so it's nice. Anyhow, I've got down to where the stranded individual is, or the stranded life form, inside of the actual mission. I'm putting down a base computer. Don't talk to him. Put down your base computer. Lovely jubbly. And claim a base. Claim, diddly claim. That's not mine. Yes, you can put down a little base on Blighty. Brilliant. And now, you may notice it came up and says, not saved in multiplayer then, people. Anyhow, I'm going to actually name this base, do a little photo for it. I'm just going to call it, you know, Stranded Individual or Stranded Life Form or whatever, so I know what it is and why I put it there. Even though it's the only base I've put down, but that's just me. I like to do these sort of things. Stranded Life Form, there we go. Capture screenshot. <laughs> yeah, I might as well see the actual Stranded Individual that's actually here. I bet he changes. Yeah, I bet when we actually hit this up in a moment, I bet it's not this little light bulb head dude that's there. Yeah, weirdness happens with stranded life forms. They really do. Anyhow, there we go. Done. All done. I can't actually uh, save that, so done anyhow. And yeah, now all I'm going to do is reload my autosave. That'll put me back up in the Nexus, won't it? Yes, it will. Before the mission even started, people. So there's that. 
So to get back to that, all I need to now do is run over to the portal inside the Nexus. The big one over by Mercury. Yeah, it's good old demon face and then guardian of the portal. He never really says anything, does he? He just nods at you, nods. Yeah. Anyhow, we're going to run down to this, interact with it, and hit on up the base computer that we just put down. Interact, Amondo. Excellent. And then I'm going to select your bases and hit up my base. It didn't keep the name. I named it. I photoed it. Ah. Uh, Fudging blast. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because you could delete this, to be fair, couldn't you? I might leave it here because it's an extra system that I've been to because I haven't landed in the station there. So at least I can actually use it on my teleporter list anyway and come back to this system if I really want to. Hello there, stranded individual. It's not the traveller. Okay, right. So what I needed to do that was just swap from the mission that I'm in to this mission. Okay, so yeah, I need to actually pick up the mission on the expedition. So here we go, expedition, and let's just select the mission in phase two, this one here, kaboom, done, and you'll see it puts a little marker above his head, and it now says, investigate the ship. Now you can change that before you actually talk to the individual, which I suggest you do. Right, so let's hit this, brilliant. For me, it still worked though, doing it like halfway through, which was a bit dangerous. Naughty Steve. Ow! Right, so here we go. Interact with the ship. I'm getting electrocuted. Ouch, it hurts and all that sort of stuff. Got blisters now. Brilliant. Just what a Viking needs. Yeah, there's blisters on the fingers. It already looks like I've got them on my face. Right, so here we go. Let's interact with the ship. Brilliant. And now I need to report it to the individual. So let's go find my little life form. Where are you, life form? Oh, he's sitting in the back end of my ship. I'll be careful. That, that engine is still hot. Right, awesome. Well, I did land on his sofa. On his little barrel that he likes sitting on. My fault entirely. There you go. Wave goodbye. Who's going to pop a badge today? I am. Yes. Who's going to finish expedition? Well, phase two. Me. Ah, victory. Ooh, done. Ah, boom. And yes, look there. It says I'm going to be able to claim a ship and I think it is a gnarly fighter. Boom. Da -dum 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 -dum. Ha. Awesome. We're done. Yes, that's uh, phase two done. But you know what? Before I end off, before I wave goodbye, and so I see you in the next episode and all that sort of shenanigans, I am going to just fly on up to the station and we're going to get rid of this ship. And I'm going to show you that that fiery hulk of a ship that I got earlier, the other fighter, hopefully when I scrap my hula, my freaking snail ship, after I scrap that, hopefully it's going to call in the previous ship the uh, fiery, messy one that I didn't bother fixing, and I can scrap that too. A double scrappage, you say? Yeah, so we go for a double scrappage. Now, you guys might have found a shed load of these ships to scrap. You might have a load of fiery hulks to scrap. Just be careful you don't scrap your new lovely fighter. Heck no. So let's fly into the station, and let's start scrapping. Scrappity scrap scrap. Not that kind of scrap, but scrap junk scrap. Ha oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to need to sell a lot of stuff in my inventory before I can start scrapping ships. Yes, I am. So I'm going to speed up that footage for you. But yeah, it's just a case of going backwards and forwards. Selling a bit of stuff, going backwards and forwards, isn't it? That's pretty much it. Now, you saw in my last one, I come across like a, a lovely squid ship. Yes, an exotic in expedition. Every single one of these planets that I've gone to, the rendezvous point so far, have had an exotic ship. Oh, pretty darn sweet. But yeah, I haven't had enough units to freaking buy one, have I? No. So yes, so, uh, yeah, an exotic in the previous system was a squiddy. This system has got its own exotic ship as well. So yeah, anyway, let's scrap this one. So there you go. I, I'm trying to scrap it, but I haven't got enough free space. So I need to go sell a load more stuff. Lovely. Let's go sell that. Sell DD sell. Lots and lots of selling. Lots of running backwards and forwards. And in between doing this, I actually hear an exotic touch down, people. So yes, I'll show you that exotic in a moment but it's, it's a red tall one with a long wing on it it's quite a nice looking exotic ship but i couldn't afford it there it is there it's quite nice but that's in rendezvous well, we're on free now aren't we? we're in the rendezvous free sort of area phase free yeah but anyhow i couldn't buy it and that's pretty much it but this is my new ship it's quite nice it's all right until next time people you've been awesome yes you have goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.